Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. Today we are going to talk about design and simulation of three phase full wave control rectifier in MATLAB. This is a circuit diagram. One of the most commonly involved differences with respect to half wave uh, three phase control rectifier is that it additionally contains three thyristors that are used uh, and hence it's also called as a six pulse converter because of six thyristors that is there. Uh, one of the major differences with respect to previous configuration is that it improves the overall ripple content in the output voltage and also better control can be obtained because each and every thyristor in the circuit can be controlled uh, properly. Uh, this is a design uh, procedure. We'll be assuming few parameters. Uh, the step one is to determine the average value of output voltage. So uh, this is the only step that is uh, involved in this design. So VM should be substituted as 230 into root 3. Be careful with this step. Once that is done, uh, one of the most commonly involved thought process is how do you enter uh, the input in pulse generator uh, in degree? So firing angle is 60 degree. How do you enter that in pulse generator? That is a big question here. So we have to convert into seconds. So how do we do it? Uh, frequency is 50 hertz in our case and uh, time period is 0 0.02 seconds uh, so you'll be getting uh, for every 360 degree the uh, duration is 0 0.02 seconds so for 180 degree it's 0 0.01 seconds that is half of it one degree corresponds to 5.55 into 10 power minus 5 seconds so for a firing angle of 60 degree uh, we will be multiplying it with 60 so that corresponds to the phase angle uh, with respect to phase a so similarly this should be done with respect to phase b and phase c for simplicity uh, i have considered three sources va vb vc each having an RMS value of 230 volt and uh, uh, having a phase delay of about 120 degree. Instead of showing it as A, B, C, I have uh, used three sources separately in order to trigger all of these. So uh, let's get into uh, the uh, simulation portion. Uh, let's go to MATLAB. All right, here we are. This is a Simlink library browser search. Uh, search the components that are required. First up, we need uh, a power view block, so search for it. This is one of the most important blocks that is involved in simulation process. If you don't have power view, you will not get the output at all. So we need a thyristor uh, block as well. So search for thyristor. Uh, we're not using a bridge. We can use a bridge as well, but uh, just to show uh, uh, it uh, from the scratch, I wanted to uh, involve only thyristors individually. Once that is done, uh, we need an AC voltage source. So search for AC voltage you'll be getting uh, this one at this block uh, we also need a pulse generator to trigger these thyristors so search for pulse generator and add this block as well uh, once that is done we need um, a resistive load so we'll search for series rlc branch and later convert it into uh, a resistive load in this case so search add the series rlc branch we uh, need to measure the mean and mean value in this case so let's only search for mean so uh, we'll be scrolling down this is the mean value so add this block uh, as well we need uh, a display monitor to uh, see the magnitude of the voltage and not the waveform so uh, it only gives you the magnitude in this case so we'll be adding this in order to see the waveform you can add search for scope or scope is already here you can add this block as well uh, once this is done i guess uh, we have a uh, Ha having all the components that are required if not uh, we will come back uh, search it in the simulink library browser and we can get that so ac voltage source is supposed to be in the input side uh, rotate this uh, in this upward direction and uh, the power view block should be in the top uh, just for uh, visibility better visibility so double click on the thyristor block uh, we are not using measurement port so disable them um, Control C and then uh, paste it across it. Uh, paste it again. You will be getting it in series. And this may uh, copy all of these and uh, paste it again uh, right underneath it. So it looks better. Uh, once this is done, we need three voltage sources. So uh, before copy pasting this, uh, in this case, you double click on it and change the voltage to uh, 325.26. Why it's 325.26? It's because to, uh, root 3 uh, 230 into root 2 is the value RMS value that we have to substitute that is one of the commonly made mistakes so please remember that step so now we'll copy paste these uh, we'll be uh, having three sources now with respect to AB uh, so and C uh, this is a uh, 120 degree with respect to phase B phase shift so that is the delay that we are setting and it is 240 with respect to phase C once this is done, uh, we can uh, get started with the connections uh, according to it, uh, just to have a form of a bridge circuit that is enclosed here. So we'll be connecting this. Uh, let's connect the upper portion as well, uh, connect it common to the cathode terminals. Uh, double click on the pulse generator block, set the time period to 0.01 seconds that corresponds to a half cycle. 
don't change anything with respect to pulse width it does not matter irrespective of the value that is you will be getting the output uh, so phase delay as i already told you i had calculated it uh, for phase mm, a so it's 3.33 into 10 power minus 3 so be very careful with this step uh, once that is done control c and uh, copy pulse generator block because we need to trigger it separately for uh, every two thyristors double click on this and uh, with respect to this only we need to change um, the phase delay uh, which is with respect to b is 0 0.0 0 0.01665 i'll be entering that uh, with respect to phase c we'll again change the phase delay because it corresponds to a different phase shift uh, so that is 0 0.02 997 once this is done click on ok we'll be triggering the thyristor in this fashion uh, these two thyristor 1 and 2 will be triggering uh, this is thyristor 3 this is thyristor 4 according to our circuit diagram just check it out uh, be very careful while triggering otherwise uh, we'll not uh, be getting the right output once this is done uh, we can connect it across uh, the source, source terminals in this manner and this is for phase a this is with respect to phase b and this is with respect to phase c now we can uh, like uh, enclose the circuit in the source side by connecting connecting it uh, in a proper manner once this is done uh, we can rotate uh, the load we are using a resistive load so double click on it and choose resistance and its value is found to be 10 ohms so uh, click on that once that is done so load is connected across uh, the thyristor bridge here uh, a volt meter uh, it gives you the voltage measurement and it's also called as voltage measurement block add this block uh, this is the mean value one of the important steps is to double click on that and change it to 50 hertz and click on ok uh, you will be getting the output voltage and that should be given directly to the mean uh, a scope to display the amount of voltage the magnitude of it and it does not give you the waveform be careful or it does not give you the sign also scope is to display the output waveform so we are connecting it in this fashion once this is done uh, we have uh, done with entering all the parameters set the simulation time to one second because these are static loads they, they do not involve any kind of motors as such so run this so you can see 268.9 almost uh, the value that we have calculated with respect to theoretical uh, calculations we are getting that double click on the scope uh, to check the output waveform uh, we'll just uh, zoom in here uh, according to this uh, so you'll be getting uh, a proper waveform like this you can try it for different firing angles as well so you'll be getting uh, a different sort of a waveform uh, with respect to the peak value or with a reduced ripple value in this uh, waveform so that's it for today if you like this video please do like it and subscribe to our channel uh, for regular updates uh, if you have any questions please do write down your questions in the comment section below thank you